Today I will show you how to make this crazy smoke effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and real quick, if you're new to the channel, I am a video editor with around 7 years of video editing experience and I like to teach video editors how to edit professionally. I also have a video editing website which is called povikas.com where I sell video editing assets such as presets or overlays. But anyways, let's begin. Alright, so here I have a clip of Netspend smoking. Now you can have any clip that you want, but what you will actually need is a smoke overlay. Now I will have linked this overlay in the description, so you will need to download it or you can download any other smoke overlay that you want it doesn't really matter and then what you need to do is just take the overlay and drag and drop it onto your clip now it's actually not going to be scaled so what i'll do is press s and i'll scale it up a bit more like this. And now what I like to do is go to the start of this overlay, maybe like right here. I like to press Ctrl Alt T and this will bring up a time remap. Now I'll take turn off the audio and I will press on this button right here. This is the start of this video basically where it starts the smoke. I'll actually extend this right here and I'm gonna go to the ending. Honestly it kind of ends right here so I'm gonna click this. I'm going to delete that point. I'm going to bring it here and we're just basically making this overlay way shorter and faster. Yeah so something like that because that whole overlay was like 15 seconds and we do not want it that long and yeah, it's gonna look like this now and we can actually start to work with it right now so what i'm gonna do is i will right click go to blending mode and i'll make it to the screen now we can make it to other modes and mess around but i just like screen here and an effect that i really love to add here is s motion detect now for this effect you do need the sapphire plugin but most people have the sapphire plugin so you should probably have it as well and i don't just change anything here but you can if you want and now let's add s flicker uh, another effect from the sapphire plugins and here i like to increase amplitude just a bit so like 0 0.5 34 and now we can add deep glow now with deep glow i like to make the exposure a bit higher to like 1.36 and the radius i like to lower to 400 and in the input i just have it to zero and the last effect i like to add here is vc color vibrance now this is a plugin and it's actually a free plugin so you should really have it and here i like to make the vibrance to 1.5 i like to change the color to whatever i guess and you can have whatever but i'm gonna go to purple yeah something like this and i like to make the gamma to 1.59 and this how it looks right now but you see it doesn't look like the one in the intro so what I, we will do now is press e go to s motion detect right here and in the compositing options you need to scroll here check on this effect opacity and just make it go to the ending of your clip and at the start make it to zero and honestly we can just drag it right here so you'll want it kind of like this and then it will need to like start to fade out this is basically for the ending of the overlay you can actually not even have the s motion detect to be honest but i do like to have it you can drag this a bit further even one thing i like to do is i like to press ctrl y on top of it and here i like to add cc vignette now uh i like to make the amount to like 90 at the start and yeah, i'll go to the start yeah and make it to 90 and here i will also add s hotspot i'll make the fresh zero i will give him the threshold and blur input and let's go to the ending right now so somewhere here and here i will make the amount to like 240 and the blur input to like five and the threshold to 0 0.176 so it will look like this now now that starts to look pretty cool as it is right there but yeah we can make some more adjustments right here one more thing i like to do is i like to go to this smoke overlay i like to press ctrl d and this one i'll add on top of the adjustment layer and now the smoke will look like this i mean that looks kind of crazy i mean you can mess around a lot here like you can make it at the start to like you can press t to bring the opacity and you can make it like 100 like maybe in the middle but at the start you can make it like zero so it kind of just like fades in like this and then yeah that looks amazing and yeah we can go back to the smoke and we can press ctrl d again and i want to show you some crazy variations that you can do using one of my packs for some cool variations we're going to be using the flicker presets pack so you can actually delete the effects from here if you press ctrl a and delete so we just leave the overlay like this and if you go to effects and presets I type flicker and if you have the pack you can go here scroll down and pick basically whatever effect you want but i really love flicker rainbow here it fits very well with this effect and look this is how it starts to look it gets this kind of like a, i don't know how to call that that is just a beautiful glow and if you turn it off this is how it looked before and after and you can do these types of effects with a lot of the flicker effects i actually have this effect but i also like to press ctrl alt y at the ending half of 
the clip. This is where the clip will end. I like to add flicker intense blur to. Now this is an effect I used in the intro of the video and basically it will look like this now. I mean, I really like how the loose looks, but don't use it on like the full clip, just use it like this. This has been very popular in the newest edits. So I would really recommend to try this out. You can add like flicker neon. This is actually another one of my favorites. Well, the flicker neon, one thing I noticed is like, look how it looked before and after. But what I noticed is like, if you press control D, you can like duplicate this and then space them out twice like this. Yeah, and this is going to look crazy. Yeah, like that, that is insane. And yeah, with this, you can add again, like the flicker intense blurs, you can add a heavy flickers, you can add so many flicker effects here, or you can take back what we had here with like the CC Vignette and S hotspots. You can press control D on this layer and you can bring it up on top of the smoke, but below the neon ones. Yeah that is a crazy smoke effect you can add like neon one v2 and you will get this look it's like a sparkling like a firework look honestly i don't even know how to call these looks and for supporting the channel i would also like to let you know that you can use code povicas to save five dollars off on the flicker presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya